Here's why the crypto market is pumping today. The Fed's favorite inflation measure rose 4.9% in April and a sign that price increases could be slowing. So what does that mean? It means the Federal Reserve will finally take their foot off the gas pedal, maybe not raise interest rates as much if the rate of change of inflation is slowing. Has what they've done worked? Has raising the interest rates put a damper on inflation? Maybe. That's why the market is excited, and that's why all markets are pumping, including crypto, which we all know has the most upside of any market. Obviously, it's too soon to call what's exactly going to happen to inflation, but we'll stay on top of the market, guys. In the meantime, there's so many underlying bullish fundamentals to this space, which we have to get into, so let's look at the news. Just in, $1.4 trillion Deutsche Bank analyst. I could potentially see Bitcoin become the 21st century gold. Okay, the big banks, Wall Street getting on board. This is what JP Morgan had to say. JP Morgan, the market cap of Bitcoin and gold could equalize. That would mean a $600,000 Bitcoin price. Again, smart money, doing things behind the scenes, while the retail crowds and most people are too afraid to invest. But these guys totally get it. Let's go into more news of assets, which are going to pump once Bitcoin finally pumps and we get past these macroeconomic headwinds. Shiba Inu can now be used to book flights and hotels worldwide. So Shiba Inu just made a massive partnership with a decentralized online booking platform, Excel Trip. So Shiba Inu just making moves behind the scenes, partnerships that are gonna expand its awareness and global adoption. Let's keep moving. Animoca Brands receives unicorn status by raising $88.8 million. So Animoca Brands invests in play-to-earn games, metaverses. If you want exposure to Animoca Brands, which literally has so much capital and are so massively influential in the crypto world, then these are the ecosystems that they control. The Ape token, Board Ape Yacht Club Metaverse, Sandbox Game, and the Rev token, R-E-V-V. -V. That is the racing game motorsport play to earn ecosystem. No one is talking about that. No one knows about it. It is micro cap. Look at how terrible the chart looks, but they are fully behind it. Just a little nugget for you guys. As Terra dies and forks, protocols and projects move to Polygon. Polygon, just continuing to take over the world. We know the Terra Luna ecosystem is collapsing, but we also know that other assets are taking advantage of the collapse. And so a lot of those applications are clearly moving to Polygon. Very good for Polygon, guys. But let's not forget what is going to happen with the Terra Luna token because they're trying to save it. And what is really interesting, if you stay on top of this story, is that these are the crypto exchanges that will support the new Luna token. Binance, Crypto.com, FTX, huge crypto exchanges are standing behind Terra Luna and are going to allow the new one to trade. I wouldn't touch the Terra Luna token with a 10-foot pole unless the market cap was something south of a few hundred million dollars because I need upside. I'm not going to be investing in an overvalued crazy token on a gamble, right? So you want huge upside. Obviously, the community is huge. If they can somehow figure out their tokenomics and not be a scam, potentially there could be upside. But obviously, you need a massive crypto bull market in order for that thing to do well at all. So remember, you have to diversify. There's so many other great assets, including Arweave. Arweave's daily transactions were consistently above 2 million throughout the week. Just an indicator of the good growth going on on that ecosystem, guys. There's so much to talk about. Can't wait to share it all.